San Luis Obispo County has certified its election results, and one of the most closely watched races there was decided by just a handful of votes. Incumbent District 2 Supervisor Bruce Gibson defeated challenger Bruce Jones by just 13 votes. The razor-thin margin suggests a recount is possible. News Channel reporter Dave Alley joins us live from San Luis Obispo tonight. So, Dave, that race may not be over yet. Uh, indeed, it may not. That's right. You know, the so-called battle of the Bruces, as this race uh, was called by some, turned out to be an absolute nail-biter. More than 23,000 votes in the district were cast, and in the end, it came down to barely more than 10 votes. So the election may now be certified right now, but again, it does not necessarily mean that this race is over. Now today, workers uh, here inside the government center at the county clerk recorder's office, they tallied up the last remaining 9,800 plus votes countywide that were left to be count. Those were vote by mail ballots and provisional ballots from polling places. Now by early this afternoon, the vote wrapped up. Gibson holding off Jones by a mere 13 votes. Gibson, the longtime incumbent, he led by 653 votes on election night. Then at the last count two weeks ago, his lead was whittled down to just 37. And today, 830 votes from District 2, which represents parts of the North Coast and North County. Those were count. Jones almost made up the difference, but in the end, just fell short. And while the count is over, Jones or any other registered voter in the state of California now has the ability to request a recount. A recount was conducted just this past June in the District 4 race between Lynn Compton and Jimmy Paulding. The cost there, $60,000, but according to clerk recorder Elena Cano, she says if someone requests a recount in this race or any other, the amount would be higher. We don't have a whole lot of space here, and I am anticipating that we will have many more recount boards, which would mean um, I would have to relocate our our um, operations to off-site. We will have to rent facilities, have 24-hour security, surveillance, transportation, staffing, and of course our recount boards. Now, I did speak with Gibson today. He is though out of town working for the county, attending a conference up in the Bay Area. But he did send a response to today's election result, which read in part, quote, I'm thrilled with the result and grateful for the trust that the voters have placed in me. They chose good government and accountability, and I will work hard on the challenging issues we have ahead, end quote. We also reached out to Jones for a comment as well, but we have yet to hear back. Now, anyone requesting a recount has up until Monday, December 12th at 5 p.m. to do so. Anyone that does that would be required to pay the county the entire cost of a uh, recount. Now, the June recount lasted five weeks long, but Kano says that uh, with added resources, she believes the office here could conduct one uh, in a much quicker time frame. And also, if there is a request for a recount, the elections office here would have up to seven days to get that process started. Reporting live in San Luis Obispo, I'm News Channel reporter Dave Alley.